Good morning. My name is Joseph Jordan. I'm a court martial defense attorney specializing in the defense of service members in the five services. I also deal with officer elimination boards, and that is the subject of our conversation today. What is an officer elimination board? Well, it's an administrative measure designed to eliminate officers from the military for any number of reasons. It could be because you received a memorandum of record that's adverse in your fish, you received a, a referred report, uh, you received a, a bad evaluation um, in the Army, call them a referred OER, if you will. Um, and we're seeing more and more of this. As everybody in the military knows, we're getting ready to face and already facing a drawdown in the military forces. We're getting to a point now where the military is becoming a zero tolerance entity. In other words, there's no, there, there's no second chances. You screw up, that's it. You're out the door. Now, why is that important to you? Well, you say, well, I might be facing an officer elimination board. I can go to my, my military defense council and I can handle my case. Well, okay, good luck with that. Um, the issue that you're going to find is most of your military defense council have no idea how to even handle a officer elimination board. It's an intricate process. It's, heavy, it's heavily regulated. There are a lot of checks and balances as you go across the process. And there are things along the process that benefit you, uh, the client, if you take advantage of those benefits. And you don't necessarily know what they are unless you get a competent, experienced uh, defense attorney that knows exactly what to look for. So consider your options carefully as you look for an attorney to represent your interests. Measure your interests. Figure out exactly what it is you want to get out of the process. And that's how I'll design your defense. The other thing that you need to remember with officer elimination boards is you're not a priority one client. You're a priority two client. And that means you're not going to get the same level of interest as a court martial case would that's already referred and going to trial. So consider that too as you look at whether or not you want to stick with your military defense counsel or you'd like to hire a civilian military counsel like myself. If you have questions about officer elimination boards or you might be facing one, give me a call at 254-554-1860 or email me at joseph.jordanucmjlaw.com. Thank you.